Hey guys, one question I get every now and then is uh, how to mount the bat house on a metal pole. Now our bat houses come with a wooden cleat and it's easy to put screws through it, put them on a wooden pole, a structure, a house. But when you get to a metal pole you have a little bit of a different obstacle. First you need to make sure that the metal pole is large enough. Uh, typically that's going to be two and a half inches or larger. The taller the pole, the larger the pole will need to be. And what I did here was I just went to the local home improvement store and went to the chain link fence, fence section to get most of this. And you can also get hardware in the uh, hardware and bolt section like this U-bolt. I'll show you how you could use some of these. The important thing to remember is the cleat is optional. This is something, it is integrated into the house so that it's available structurally, but this using this extra cleat that comes with it is purely optional. It's there to make it easy to hang the house, but it's not required structurally for the house for any reason. It's also not the final solution when you do hang the house. It's, you don't just put the cleat up, hang the house, and walk away and you're done. It's meant to hold the house there while you put the permanent mounting screws in to keep it in place. And here's how you could use this with these friction band clamps here. You put your piece down, center it on the pole, mark and drill a hole a little bit larger than the bolt. You take this, I'll show you about the carriage bolt here in a second. Get your clamp where you want it. Take the bolt. This is why you need to drill the hole just a little bit larger. Makes it a little easier to get the bolt through here. And put a nut on it. And we'll level that. Get it like we want it. And then when you tighten the nut down, what you want to do is tighten it in so it pulls the head of the carriage bolt into the plywood. You can feel a little bit there. It's okay if it digs into it. That's what you want. It'll make it nice and tight, but it will minimize the protrusion as well because your bat house is going to be hanging against that. And as a result, the bat house won't sit up perfectly flush to it, but that's fine again. Now, once that's in position and like you want it, you would bring your bat house back up. You'd have your tools and your other mounting hardware with you that you were going to use, and you would just hang it on that cleat. And now the house can hang there while you finish it. Ideas on how to finish mounting it, you can also use a band clamp down here. You could add another band clamp over on this side at the top and drill through. You can do a band clamp down here at the bottom, drill through the board, so that would be there. In the future, if you needed to take the house down, you would simply take this bolt and this bolt out. The house would still hang here. Take it down. Your cleat stays there. And that's just a suggested method using these if the pole is of a size that these will work with. Even if the pole's a little bigger, you can take and bend these to make them accommodate a little bit larger pole. Now, another option, in fact, while I'm here, I'll just show you. If you were doing a larger pole, uh, or if you wanted to use this for your permanent mounting method, you can get a U-bolt. These are easily available. What you would do is you'd mark your house and you'd drill two holes, bring this in from the back, put your plate on the front, put your bolts in and tighten them up, and the U-bolt would hold the house permanently in place. If you're working in a commercial application or have access to a cherry picker, a farm, or an orchard, of course you could do it without the cleat and simply put a U-bolt on the top of it, add you a U-bolt on the bottom, U-bolt on the top, friction clamp on the bottom. The other method that we have here doesn't even require the use of the cleat. I wouldn't say that it's 
as eloquent as using the French cleat system, but it would certainly work if you had the hardware. And that is using this here. This is actually a transition piece for a chain link fence to a wood fence. So if you're looking for it, it's I think they actually called it a, a wood transition piece. But you can take this, you can go up the pole, and decide where you want your the bottom of your house to be in this case and you would tighten the bolts down. Again, your pole will need to be able to fit inside these clamps. So exactly what you use, is, of course, is going to vary. But the idea here is the bottom of your house can now actually sit here and you could bend this down if you didn't want to use it this way whatever the case was but now you can come up and actually sit the house here get your U-bolt for the top, uh, clamp for the top, whatever it is, but you would climb up, you would set the house, and you would secure the top of it, and then you could come back and drill a hole or have it pre-drilled and actually put a screw through the body of the house into this piece of material here, into this brace, and that would permanently mount it up there. And while you couldn't just let go and walk away like you can with the cleat, it would support the weight of the house while you're working on it. And this little bit of metal, it's not sharp or anything. That wouldn't harm the bats or bother them in any way. There are tons of other ways to do it. These are just a couple. You can, of course, uh, always weld a bracket to it. Uh, you can put it up there, and I've actually seen wooden brackets made um, where they put the screws through the back and tighten it down onto a, a metal pole or some other type of pole. But you can get creative. The hardware and everything is there. So hopefully that should answer your question there, and if you have any more, just let me know. Thanks.